What's going on there, guys? As you can see, there's a fish. Yes, a freaking fish. Why a fish? Well, yesterday was unexpected. So, however, uh, we got a pet fish. Some lady was trying to give him away online or whatever and Brian decided to just take him and I guess I got a new pet now. So we got four, wait, we got five dogs, two cats, and now a fish. We got chickens and roosters, but they're not supposed to be city animals. And freaking roosters get on my nerves constantly, constantly going, cock a doodle doo! God, it's so annoying. That was probably annoying too, the way I just did that. Okay, anyway, I'll tell you what type of fish it is. Uh, let me see here. I got it in Google. Come on, pop up. It's a male beta fish. A Siamese fighting fish, to be exact. So, yes, it is a male, and it's a Siamese fighting fish. Now, whew. A fish will be a lot of responsibility, so this is a new experience. I've never really had a pet fish, and it's in a little container right now, so, uh, yeah, my mom and Brian's gonna go ahead and get a tank for it. We already got some little decorations kind of set out for it, and I'll take another picture of the tank with the fish in it I mean I might not get the fish in the tank or the picture whatever the fish will be in the tank but I might just get the tank before I put the fish in there and then probably get decorations in there and all that junk anywho <laughs> he's a beautiful fish but however Male beta fishes, however, if you put another male beta fish in there, the reason why they're called fighting fish is they will fight to the death. That's what I was told. If you put two male betas in there, they'll fight to the death. And you cannot put a female in there until they're ready to breed or else he'll kill her. So, these things can probably be pretty mean, but he's pretty much a harmless guy to me. Whew. And snails, snails, I read, are a good friend for them. Male betas really don't have friends. They don't get lonely or anything. So, they're used to being alone. <laughs> I guess you could put a couple other type of fish, maybe, but depending on what fish you get. Again, as long as it's not a male beta, they won't fight to the death. As long as they're alone. And remember, don't put a female in there unless they're ready to breed or whatever. <sighs> and yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you. Just got a new pet fish, actually. Um, real late at night, actually, last night. Around 11 at night, somewhere. So anyway, thanks for hearing me out. Now you know what type of fish it is, and you've now learned a little bit about the fish. They'll fight to the death, and they'll kill the female if it's not ready to breed. Whatever. You know a little bit about it. I might 
give a little more information in the next video about it. About uh, how much food you should give it. Actually, I'll go ahead and quickly say it. Um, thing is, you can probably give it like five pellets of food. It's stomach can probably hold no more than just its eyeball size or whatever so it's like five pellets of food once or twice a day so it don't really eat much Whew. anyway got some preparing to do with the tank gonna get some green gravel I think there's a lot to do before I could take another picture. <laughs> it should be fine in my room. Anywho, thank you for watching. Uh, tell me if you got a pet fish or anything. Maybe I could get tips from you guys instead of looking on the freaking internet. Google doesn't tell me everything that I want to know. Because <sighs> it pops up so many different things that I'm not looking for so if you got a pet fish you can either tell me through hangouts or YouTube it don't matter just <laughs> and yeah I can get some tips maybe even if you don't have the fish I got now I can still get yeah some tips of what to do with the fish maybe Thank you for watching, and I'll see you whenever I post another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>